Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be planting some rare plants that I got from uh, Mr. Maple, mrmaple.com. I was there maybe two weeks ago at this point and uh, met with Matt and Tim. And if you haven't seen the videos I did with them about their individual, some of their favorite plants uh, through the nursery, you can go back and uh, take a look at those. I'll link them down below this video. The uh, four pieces I'm planting, I'm super excited about. Uh, they are a combination of me getting some winter interest in this garden, me getting some foliage color in this garden, me getting some winter structure in this garden because I got a lot of perennials and I got a lot of annuals that'll come out and I got a lot of perennials that'll go to sleep. So looking for winter structure. I've got this incredible uh, dwarf, uh, dwarf ginkgo called Troll. And that was featured in the uh, first video uh, with Matt. Uh, they, have a, they have one that's about 10 or 12 years old, that's about four feet high and about three feet wide. Absolutely perfect plant in the space they had it. And I believe I got the exact kind of spot. Uh, it, this thing will get to about the height of this fence in the next 10 years and have that incredible bright yellow fall color that you would expect from a ginkgo. So I'm excited to put this one in the ground uh, right here in this fence. Next up is one I'm super excited about. This is a uh, Japanese maple that uh, Matt and Tim have named Hot Blonde. Uh, it is a, a gold foliage variety, upright variety, that uh, leafs out in the spring uh, with gold leaves that are kind of lined in red. And there's a little bit of that um, still uh, on the leaves at this point, but for the most part, the leaves get more and more gold as the season goes on. A lot of these gold cultivars of Japanese maples kind of burn out during the summertime, especially down here in the south. And uh, this one just does a fantastic job of holding its color all season long. I'm putting it in this space in the middle of a bed in my backyard where I'm trying to get some height right in the middle of the bed. So this will be a, a great upright choice. Incredible red fall color on this one uh, and it, it, it for an extended period of time so this is one that like i say matt and tim introduced they decided not to patent it um and so um, um i find that kind of interesting that uh um, you know they've just put it out into the world and, uh, and allowed other uh, allowed others to grow it as well uh it is a, a grafted variety obviously but i'm going to stick it uh in the ground here they've got a, a gold uh wajila that uh, ultimately is going to have to uh have to make way out of this uh, space. But in the meantime, I've got two gold plants next to each other. There is a plan for where this uh, Wajilia is going later. Next up is a Cedrus Atlantica. Uh, this one's called Sapphire Nymph. Uh, this one was actually um, introduced uh, by Pat McCracken, who introduced Sunshine Ligustrum. A few other things you guys have seen on the channel. And I'm, I'm gonna have an upcoming video with him on his favorite plants. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to do uh, that video pretty soon. Uh, this is a, um, um, a Cedrus Atlantica or Atlantic Cedar that only reaches about four feet in height, maybe two to three feet in width over 10 years. And it's gonna be the perfect thing on I flipped over to the other side of the fence from planting that, um, uh, that dwarf ginkgo, uh, doing the exact same thing on this side, but with this beautiful blue-green foliage. Last but not least is actually uh, my favorite piece of the four that I uh, brought back home. This is a, P a Pinus sylvestris called green penguin. And the reason it's called green penguin is because it has an upright habit. It'll reach maybe four feet in height in 10 years and only about two feet in width. And it resembles a little green penguin uh, as it grows. Uh, super, super interesting. If you watch the video I did with Tim on his favorite plants uh, in their collection, uh, this is one of his. And I think that was in the, uh, it was in the second video. So I'm super excited about this little conifer. This is gonna look great in this space in the winter time. Again, I've got some annual things here and some perennial things that are gonna be asleep. So I've got, a, I'm coming up with evergreen things 
uh, for this space. And I think a little perfectly upright narrow conifer is perfect. Another super heat tolerant uh, introduction. This one is uh, hardy into zone eight. Uh, and I think three to eight. So most people watching this can uh, grow this, uh, this little green penguin. So there's the four rare plants that I got from my visit up to uh, Mr. Maple, uh, MrMaple.com, uh, hanging out with Matt and Tim was fantastic. Again, this uh, little uh, dwarf pine was in uh, Tim's video. If you haven't seen that video, I think this is the perfect little specimen piece for this entryway between the, uh, the little ornamental, the, 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 the fence that I've put up here uh, in the uh, front garden space. I like all of these pieces. Got some other content like this coming up, so make sure you're subscribed to the uh, channel and we'll visit some interesting nurseries across the U.S. Thanks for watching.